after 20 years of one party rule. Ugandans in 2005 voted to restore multi party politics in a referendum. This decision opened up the political space for parties to organize grassroots structures, rally support from voters, and hold rallies freely. Covered a lot of aspects. But the report released today by the Foundation for Human Rights Initiative says the country has failed to realize this objective. The report stems out of a survey conducted countrywide for one year. For multi-party democracy based on our findings, it must be based on political will, it must be based on respect of institutions, it must be based on constructive engagement among the different actors. For Uganda to fully realize multi-party democracy, there should be a right to freedom of expression, a vibrant and fully functioning opposition, funding of all political parties, the principle of separation of power, and an independent electoral commission, according to the report. As long as you are going to be a judge who is a cadre, chairman of an electoral commission who is a cadre, a whatever who is a cadre, a minister who is a cadre, a vice president who is a cadre, you will never help this country at all. Never. There should be a recognition of the roles of the different stakeholders, one being the, the opposition, the other being parliament, the other one the ruling party, the other one being civil society, the other one being the security agencies. Now, the, all of these agencies must work in harmony. In Uganda today, we are not working in harmony. A strong opposition is a must for a strong functioning multi-party democracy. But everybody is saying it's government frustrating it. What has the opposition done it, by itself to strengthen itself? The report recommends that the Public Order Management Act be repealed, the Press and Journalists Amendment Bill be rescinded, and the Constitution reviewed to enhance the independence and impartiality of the Electoral Commission. It also adds that the Speaker of Parliament upon election should resign from his or her political party and that numbers of members of Parliament be reduced. The report also urges political parties to develop coherent and clear party ideologies and policy programs as well as strengthen internal democracy mechanisms. To the police force, the use of excessive force in policing assemblies and demonstrations should be avoided and to the directorate of public prosecution, charges against those arrested while exercising their freedom of expression should be dropped. The report also recommends that the government starts to fund political parties as provided for by the law. We are Ugandans with a legitimate interest in what takes place in this country. We are going to receive some of these proposals in the Champanzi. Hopefully we shall arrive at general consensus on a number of things. And we shall come back, we shall write bills to amend the constitution and electoral reforms and any other administrative reforms that we think at this point Ugandans have built consensus on. If government does implement all this, the country could begin the journey to a vibrant multi-party democracy. Agnes Nandutu, NTV Tonight.